good morning from a gloomy Amsterdam. So, we're headed back to the USA today on KLM, but we're doing it in economy class today. So, I just checked out of the hotel. Let's head to Amsterdam Central train station and head to airport. Let's go. A few moments later. Y'all, even though I'm flying KLM, which is in Departures 2, look how long this check-in line is. Holy shit. Wow. So yeah, if you're flying on a skip hole, get here early. A few moments later. All right, formalities cleared. Got a lot of time to kill, so I'm gonna find a lounge. A lot of people were telling me to go to the Crown Lounge, but I'm not on a business class ticket, and I do not want to pay $150 to even enter that lounge, so maybe next time. But I'm gonna see if there's a priority pass lounge somewhere. So let's go find one. All right, so no lounge today because the Priority Pass Lounge is under renovation, so it's closed. And as I stated before, I'm not gonna pay 150 bucks to go to the lounge for KLM. So, I'm getting all reliable, McDonald's. Can't go wrong. Later that day. So, it is 12.30 p.m. We were supposed to board at noon. And yeah, we were supposed to leave at one o'clock. But it's no big deal. They said it was just for aircraft preparation and stuff like that. But hopefully we'll board soon. One eternity later. All right, finally boarding. 50 minutes late. But it's all good. Just ready to get home. Twenty-seven A. Welcome on board the KLM seven eight seven ten economy class. It's laid out in a three 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 configuration. So let's get to our seat and let's get settled in. Let's take a look around the seat. Here you have your touch screen, which we'll explore later in the video. And here is your bifolding tray table, which moves back and forth. The leg room, it's pretty decent, but be warned, there is no AC power outlets. My phone is a USB type C cable on both sides. So I was in trouble. Welcome to our flight group members. After this announcement, a video about the safety on board will follow. And out of respect of every, for everyone's privacy, you must get permission from passengers or crew before taking photographs or videos. After a really late departure in a really long taxi, let's hurtle down the runway and get out of rainy Amsterdam. Let's go to Chicago. Flight time is 7 hours and 50 minutes. The first meal was a sausage, mashed potatoes, and some sides. And here we have a, a pillow and blanket. The pillow was made of probably the itchiest thing I've ever seen. I couldn't get, I couldn't sleep on it, y'all. I'm sorry. Let's explore the in-flight entertainment system. Each seat in economy class includes an 11-inch HD touchscreen display with a vast collection of movies, TV shows, games, and audio files. There is no remote to navigate this TV, so it is 100% touchscreen. Me personally, I enjoy the flight map every flight. On top of that, there is Wi-Fi on board available for purchase and it's 18 euros for the entire flight and it works quite well.
As we come into land to the beautiful city of Chicago, I want to take this time to explain how much this flight cost me to book. So when I booked this flight, Flying Blue actually had a promotion going on where one-way flights between Amsterdam and Chicago, vice versa, were 12,500 points each way. Y'all, I couldn't pass that up. Just to put it into perspective, normally a one-way flight between Amsterdam and Chicago or the other way around is between 20,000 and 50,000 points. So for 12,500 points plus $87 in taxes, that is insanely cheap. I could not pass that up, y'all. It was I just had to take advantage of that promo. Always sign up for email alerts from Flying Blue because they'll always alert you when the best deals are. So that's how much this flight cost me. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave a comment below and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and stay tuned for our next nonstop adventure.